Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is plant-based OMAD, what I eat in a day. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And I do appreciate that. Out on another walk and wanted to make this video because I've been plant-based for over seven years and intermittent fasting for over three years. And lately I've been doing a lot of OMAD, a lot of one meal a day. I don't always do that all the time, but lately I have been. And it's been working really well, so I figured I'd just make a video and show you what I had today. And when I do OMAD, it's usually about a two hour eating window. So that seems to work good, about a 22 hour fast with a two hour eating window. And I like to finish eating you know, four hours before I go to bed. So I like to usually finish eating by 6.30 and then go to bed at 10.30. So I have plenty of time to get that food digesting. So here is what I had. So I ate in a two hour window from about 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And I started off with these smoothies. Well, it was one smoothie just fit into two glasses. And I had in the smoothie, I had two bananas. I had a cup of blueberries. I had a couple of handfuls of spinach. I had a serving of Marcus Roscran's Green Pro C Mix. I had a few tablespoons of soaked chia seeds, a couple of tablespoons of cacao powder, and water. And what I actually did was I sliced up the these other two bananas and then I put them in the smoothie and sort of had it together. So it ended up having four bananas, with including the two bananas outside of the smoothie and in the smoothie. After the smoothie, I had two large bowls of this pasta. It was whole grain pasta with a spicy cashew sauce and mixed vegetables in it. And the spicy cashew sauce I have a recipe for. Um, you can find that on my recipe playlist, so go ahead and check that out. If you want a really good pasta recipe, you can also use it to dip vegetables in. You can put it on starches. It's uh, really tasty, so check that out. In the third part of my meal, I had some peanuts and then some dates. So that's how I finished it off. So thanks for watching, everyone. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.